Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new ESC that just recently was released on Banggood and it's called the Flycolor 50 Amp Raptor BLS Pro. Such a long name. But um, it's a 50 Amp ESC. It takes 3 to 6S LiPo. It's not super big but it's like a little bit bigger than most. Like for example here we have the GS. So you kind of see it's a bit just longer than usual ESCs. So this is a D-Shot 600 BB2 chip ESC. So it just runs D-Shot 600 as a maximum. And it's a 50 amp ESC. I mean, it's pretty expensive, 21, around 21 bucks, but hopefully it should be pretty good here. And this pressure is rated up to 60 amps, so that's a big plus. And they're stating its weight is 10.2 grams. However, we'll, we'll take its weight once we finish the bench testing here. So just take a look at the board here. Uh, we see we have one, two, three, four. We have four caps back here, a bunch of little resistors. Um, the color is pretty nice, something different. So let's just remove this guy here. Oh, wow. So let's just take a look here. So we do have a fat heat sink right here, so that's a big plus. And we had four caps on the back, and here we have one, two, three, four, five. That's 15 plus four, that's nine. A total of 19 caps, or is that even more? Yeah, 19 caps. So that's just insane. So this is going to be hopefully a good one. I mean, it shows that it's going to be a good one. I don't see any tantalum capacitors. And the MOSFETs, they look like they have a bunch here, so... Yeah, they have one, two, three, four, and we have three here, so 12, I believe we have 12 MOSFETs up in this guy, that's pretty insane. So hopefully this one's going to be able to take a load, and Flycolor has been in this business for a very long time, I've checked their website, uh, they, they've been making ESCs forever, but just recently they jumped into the multi-rotor scene as I believe. But um, I, all I know is in China that they usually love to tend to go to this brand for some reason. Maybe they know better than us over there uh, that it's a good one. So, yeah, well, enough talking. Let's take it on the bench and let's get started. Alright guys, so how did the fly color do here? It actually did pretty well, um, very good. It's to be expected to do, actually to do a little bit better, but overall it was a very good ESC. Um, the, the noise was contained very well with, with holding the voltage spikes. However, once in a while you get a little tiny voltage spike up to. It was averaging around 21 volts for voltage spikes and voltage drops was averaging 12.5 uh, to 13, but I'm gonna stick to 12.5. So overall, it seems good. This was on a 4S. This testing was done on 4S. I'm currently building a setup for 5S and 6S, and uh, we'll be doing those as well very soon, and this will be one of our candidates also. But overall, I mean, it's a D-Shot 600 ESC. It's around 20 bucks. It's, it's a bit expensive, but, you know, um, it seems pretty good. It seems pretty light. It's very, it has a very thin profile, so that's a big plus here. And um, overall, it was just a little bit above average, or just not actually, I would consider this average. I would give it like a 7 out of 10. Uh, nothing super crazy, nothing super uh, bad. It's just an all around, this seems like a decent ESC. And we will be doing a reward testing on this guy very soon, so we can check him out. Uh, we will not be adding low ASR capacitors and seeing how he does with noise and if we do have any problems. But overall, it seems like a good one. Fly Color has been doing some crazy good stuff lately. And, um, well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if it helps someone out there, please use my affiliate links. It really goes a long way. And uh, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.